Twelfth Night is Shakespeare's, I think, one of Shakespeare's most perfect comedies. Um, it is. It takes so many of the things that he had been using in his writing, twins separated and a shipwreck and the turning over of status quo um, and plays with and music and music and plays with those things in such a beautiful way. I think for me, it's one of my favorite plays because of the humanity that exists in each of these characters. That they're all trying so hard to make their way to their best selves, and they go about it the completely wrong way. But in the end, we get there, right? And watching that interaction between the characters and watching them figure each other out and figure themselves out is just, it's beautiful, it's human, and it's, it's funny in its humanity. And I think the fact that we chose to not do it as an Elizabethan play, uh, but to contemporize it and move it to a setting that people have some familiarity with because the situations that they're all involved with are situations that people find themselves in throughout their lives because it's really about relationships and you know that if you're not connected to other people there's really not as much value in your life. This play is such a great example of extremes of love, extremes of grief, you know, love for for people who have passed and not being able to move forward in your life. Um, that being said, there's a lot of joy in this play. Amanda really wanted to keep it very bright and very uh, light and uh, so one of the ways she decided to do that was to uh, push it into a sort of a seaside community. The sort of seaside world that we found really complements the play. It's not just, you know, let's do a Shakespeare play on the moon. Uh, it's finding a world that really helps the play and the characters um, make sense um, to us in a way that doesn't really impose anything on the text. It's just as helping all the characters, the plot, um, what makes them different uh, pop. In, in a really big way, and that's just fun to, to live in as an actor. And especially since we're doing it in the summertime, um, it just, yeah, it gives a nice, light, yeah, it does. fun it does. It's feel. It's very bright. It's set at the beach, <laughs> and I like that. There is uh, quite a bit of music in the play. It's pretty important. It really captures the spirit of the play and um, helps move the action along, and it's just really catchy and fun and in the world, and I love it. Uh, there are so many wonderful and famous lines in this play. If I had to choose a favorite right now, I would choose a very silly one I get to say as Fabian, yes. which is, you are now sailed into the north of my lady's opinion, and you will hang like an icicle on a Dutchman's beard unless you do redeem it. Which icicle is on a Dutchman's beard. <laughs> I mean, how do you beat it? <laughs> this show is going to be a lot of fun. Because it's fun. It's and good. It's visually fun, the music is a lot of fun, and, and a lot of thought has gone into all of that. And, um, and, and the guy's a funny writer. I don't know where they found him, but he's pretty good. <laughs>